Hello. Uh, today we are going to show you a pen that's extremely close to my heart. Now, uh, uh, I mean a company, uh, not only this particular pen, but almost all pens from this company. And uh, I have been collecting them over a period of time and uh, they are simply great. Now, there is, like everything else, a method in the madness. There is a reason why I consider these pens to be great. And I will try to explain to you, to share with you, why I consider these pens to be great. Now, as you are aware, I mean by now you must be aware that yes, I am talking about Benu pens, these pens. And uh, I will, uh, I, since I was going through it, I realized that I can, uh, I love them for three broad reasons. One is the design, two is their material and three of course is their finish. There are other reasons and I will be talking to you about them uh, progressively as we uh, move forward in this video. But uh, these three things I wanted to clarify kind of right up front. Number one, their design is far out. Uh, it, you know, this company is originally from Russia, though they are now based out of Armenia. But this is a company, is a kind of a collaboration between two people, uh, Kate Dimitrieva, uh, this lady who uh, is the managing director of the company, and Alex Semanin. I mean, I, I, please forgive me if I uh, am unable to pronounce their names properly because these are Russian names, I mean, they're uh, East European names. and. Uh, we are not very conversant with these names. So, these two uh, people, this lady and this gentleman, they are the moving spirit behind this, uh, is the Benu company. Uh, and uh, they are far out. I mean, I, I have been uh, talking about Benu pens in my blog. Uh, if you people are interested, you can check out uh, some old uh, uh, blog posts that I have done about the pens, about specific pens and about the company in general, about their philosophy, about why uh, they are, uh, you know, the kind of disruptors in the fountain pen industry, why I consider them to be disruptors because they have toppled a number of apple carts. Now, uh, going back to the design part, they design their own pens and these pens are far out so far as designs are concerned. They are not your typical uh, black or blue or brown resin made uh, pens that follow a certain um, design philosophy or that uh, uh, kind of adheres to the age old tradition of uh, you know a very male kind of a black pen a contraption that you write with their designs, they have uh, brought in a kind of breath of fresh air into the designing of fountain pens. So that's one reason why I love them. Second is the material. You know, Benu pens are not the pens that are outsourced, that are OEM'd to, you know, some third world country. These pens, their, their total material basket is uh, created in-house by their own team and uh, they don't go out selling out their rods or their material or whatever. So the thing is, uh, these materials are exclusive to Benu, which is why these pens are, uh, I mean, so sought after. And third, of course, is the finish. Their uh, finish is just too good. They, they, uh, these pens are hand-finished. And uh, they all uh, bear the mark of a certain kind of uh, obsessive uh, love for detailing and uh, for uh, ensuring that every piece is perfect. Which is why perhaps after using Benu pens for such a long time, 
I, uh, I mean, I'm not very uh, keen to explain how it writes or how it uh, feels in the hand or uh, you know the comfort of writing with a Benu pen or the specificity of the nibs or uh, how well the nibs and the uh, the fittings and entire scheme of things uh, uh, fits into the hand like a glove. I don't want to get into all that because they're taken for granted. Uh, which, you know, certain companies, certain pens, certain brands have attained or they attain over a period of time such a huge kind of uh, perfection that all pens adhere to a certain standard norm. And it's, there's no point in, you know, picking up one and trying to say how uh, it is because they are all, when it comes to performance, they are all equally good, equally flawless, equally, I mean, so the things that you would love. So, I will not get into that part of the thing. Suffice it to say, uh, these pens carry a uh, Jovo nib and a Schmidt converter. Uh, the Jovo nibs are hand assembled at the Schmidt factory in... Uh, Georgian, I don't know, again, I am not uh, familiar with the pronunciation, Georgian in Germany, but uh, that's about it. These pens are far out. So, what I will do now is I will show you this particular pen and tell you something. I will ink it up, I will write with the pen and I will talk about uh, this particular pen, which is, of course, my latest acquisition. Uh, so, here is the Benu pen. This is the Benu Bourbon. And I hope you can see this. This is the Benu Bourbon as usual. You know, so many people have been talking about glitter pens. Uh, uh, we know that glitter pens are now uh, in uh, a rage in Japan and the Far East. But uh, look at this. I mean, I won't make a comment here, but just take a look at this pen. Just, and uh, this is the nib. Of course, I hope you can see this. This is the nib. The cartridge. It can also be used as a uh, uh, as an eyedropper, but what we will do is we'll we'll fill it up uh, with the cartridge, and let's show you how. And then there's another thing, you know, with cartridges. I think after you uh, shove it in, I think you should push this a little bit for the ink to flow. What do I say? I mean, as you can see, uh, this is a pleasure to write with. I mean, the writing is very soft and juicy and wet. things about uh, how 
this looks you know this is pure bourbon it uh, this is like the shimmering shades of uh, stars with some uh, you know a red milky way going through the night sky uh, then deep space i don't know this is this is too beautiful for words i mean this a benu pen is always a conversation starter you know when you go there people just take notice when you pull it out one benu pen is a canvas because these are artists out there both kate and alex semani and their artists and they have uh, chosen uh, this canvas to give vent to their creativity but if you have more than one venue pen what happens you have a whole gallery so i mean that's that's the way i look at it i also uh, love the way venue is etched here uh, in the this thing uh, on the barrel and this is how the nib looks and as we showed this has a, 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 a this is a converter cartridge pen and uh, this can also incidentally be used as a uh, you know as an eye dropper filler so i don't know this is too beautiful a pen uh, to be commenting upon i'm uh, i just sincerely hope and wish that all of you are blessed with pens like these so like uh, i love them and uh, i hope it is a love that uh, gets shared by all of you that all of you get blessed enough to own and possess such pens now benu pens are uh, incidentally made available in india these days they have a dealer in here and uh, i think uh, what do i say so till till we meet again and uh, till uh, if you incidentally want uh, me to feature and show more benu pens please let me know please write in the comment box below so that uh, you know i can uh, i can show them around because these are things that i love to share with uh, my friends uh, around the world these are pens that are so inherently beautiful that uh, i i i want everyone to enjoy them everyone to uh, bask in their glory everyone to you know with the sheer joy of holding one uh, in one's hand and writing with uh, one may there be more pens like this in the future and may all of you uh, uh, end up using them because uh, fountain pen is forever and so is benu thank you